All right, what's going on, everyone? And welcome to the Fort Minor Project YouTube channel. It's been a long time since I actually uh, sat here basically face to face doing these type of videos. I know the last time that I did something like this uh, was my coming out story and being able to come out as transgender. Uh, so now, uh, as you see by the title, a lot has changed and now being able to start HAT uh, as of this week. Uh, so I'll be able to talk about uh, what's been going on uh, with that for HRT a little later. Uh, you might even notice a new background. And yes, I'm not in North Carolina anymore. And I'm now in Maryland. I've been here uh, since earlier this year and been able to settle in. It has been really cool. Uh, a lot better than North Carolina. It's more like New York where I'm originally from. I uh, saw so there's kind of like different uh, similarities uh, on that. I uh, saw so, uh, being able to be here and uh, basically kind of like in the mountains in the way uh, has been a uh, really cool. Uh, so I've been uh, enjoying uh, that uh, as of right now. Uh, earlier wasn't too fun getting COVID. Unfortunately, uh, that's the only time I've ever gotten COVID early this year while we moved. Uh, so I felt like I had that, I think, about like two weeks. So that was definitely scary. Uh, so hopefully that's the only time uh, that I'll have to actually deal with that. And it looks like things have been uh, going away slowly but surely. And it's not as serious uh, as it is, but it's still serious. Uh, basically, that's what it looks like. So um, it's slowly uh, going away. And, um, you know, we don't have lockdown anymore. So uh, that's definitely a good thing. So um, being able to uh, get adjusted, like I said, has been really awesome. Uh, as you've seen here, uh, basically on the YouTube channel for the main one, I basically turned things into a gaming channel. Uh, so that's been really fun. I'm looking to do other stuff, still do with vlogs, deal with that, uh, especially with this one, some more life updates. I uh, definitely, for sure, I feel like uh, that would be needed since uh, before my coming out video, I was able to watch a lot of other videos uh, from a lot of other trans women and being able to uh, figure things out for me and that's been uh, helpful a lot. And I started actually doing that again, especially uh, being on HRT and it's really helpful uh, with the information of being able to hear different stories. So uh, that's been uh, really cool. Uh, I've been able to go to group therapy. Uh, that's been uh, really interesting for sure. Uh, I prefer more uh, basic therapy, uh, honestly, and that's been actually not too bad at all. So I'm not afraid to actually say that. Uh, as of right now, I, I never really I had a problem with therapy. So I think that's actually really good, especially for mental health reasons. And definitely helps out a lot. And especially now with being able to deal with that, that was able to actually uh, help me get to where I am to dealing with HRT. Uh, so uh, in North Carolina, I did have a therapist, and then having to change over to a new one uh, has been definitely different. So seeing how different uh, other people are and everything has been uh, really cool to see that. Uh, but so far, things are really going well with that, and I've been happy. And now uh, being able to start HRT this week, uh, that's been exciting, uh, being able to see what changes are to come. They aren't going to happen right away. Uh, is what I learned so within over time, within months, especially within to a year, I'm most likely seeing more changes. But in the beginning, when I first took it, uh, so um, the recording of this video is actually on Friday. Uh, so Wednesday, uh, being able to go to my appointment and being able to uh, check things out, see how things are going to be able to go. And then I got my uh, HRT pills on a Thursday, the next day. Uh, being able to take them um, that day. Uh, so uh, basically uh, how things have been. Uh, at first, my body wasn't really too sure how to take it, but then I realized uh, what was happening and realized that uh, it was HRT. So it seems like um, my body has been handling things very well as of right now. So um, probably maybe November, probably seeing a lot more changes. Uh, by that time for my next appointment, for my checkup to see how things are. Uh, sometimes um, eventually I can get a boost up a dose. So right now it's at 100. Uh, so uh, depending how things go, it could go uh, up a dose. Uh, but I feel like for me as of right now, I don't think 
I would have to go uh, upper dose. So uh, with that, I do feel happier. I do feel more relaxed already uh, as of right now. I know eventually uh, things like with skin and stuff like that, that would be, I feel more softer and everything. So uh, there's a lot to actually be dealing with uh, with that. So I'm looking forward to see uh, what changes are ahead. So uh, basically not too long of a video. Just wanted to have an update and I felt inspired to actually do these type of vlogs and everything. So whether I'm going to be talking about uh, what's happening or just a basic vlog and what I've been uh, dealing uh, with and just a uh, life vlog in general. Uh, last year, I was able to go to my first Pride, so I'll be going this year, uh, this month as of uh, yet. Uh, so that's going to be really fun for Pride Month. Uh, so I enjoyed that last year. I got a couple of stuff. I uh, got a couple of books as well. Uh, I've been actually into reading and everything, so that's been fun. Again, especially I'm breaking out into other uh, reading genres, so I've been uh, liking that a lot. Uh, so... Uh, also, I realized too, uh, over time, I didn't get to mention this last time, but being polyamorous, uh, that's something I felt like uh, who I was for a long time, and being able to have multiple partners. I'll be fine with just one uh, if that does happen, but if I have other multiple partners, that would be uh, really cool, and I'll be happy with that. Uh, so that's something I feel like i always been for a long time, especially being uh, queer, uh, kind of more on the lesbian side. Uh, as well, and uh, being able to uh, have my name uh, be uh, with Daphne, I'm still very happy with that. So Daphne Ellison uh, Rivera still uh, seems more me. Uh, that definitely uh, feels right as of right now still. So I've been uh, having uh, fun with that and being able to uh, enjoy that a lot more uh, as of right now. So yeah, a lot of good things, especially this month. Uh, especially with Pride and uh, being able to uh, deal with the prom uh, for adults. Uh, they have that, uh, the pool party. Uh, maybe I'll do vlogs for that sort of stuff, depending on what happens, uh, or just regular stuff in general. And um, yeah, uh, so a lot to look forward to. So uh, for the podcast, um, well, in the hot scene now, being in the podcast and being able to have its own uh, YouTube channel, uh, being able to um, grow as well and Definitely, I'll go from In the Hot Seat to now the In the Hot Seat podcast has been fun, especially at during the pandemic and seeing that grow uh, has been cool. So now expanding to pop culture besides pro wrestling. I uh, saw so a little bit of everything uh, over there on the YouTube channel. So definitely go check out that one uh, as well as this one. I appreciate the love and support for uh, both channels as always. And definitely, I do have a link tree now to check out all my other uh, socials as well to stay up to date on uh, what's been going on with me and life in general. Uh, so uh, until then, I'll catch everyone next time for another video. Till then, I'll see you next time.